Hey guys, Mariah here, and today we're going to be taking a look at our new SparkFun OpenLog data collector with machine chat kits, the sensors that come with them, and some fun tools to use with Jedi One. Let's get into it. We have three kits available. We have the base kit that comes with the Jedi One software information card, an OpenLog Artemis with no IMU, a reversible USB-C cable, and a quick cable kit. The other two kits have everything the base kit has, but with added boards. The environmental monitoring kit has an atmospheric sensor breakout board, and the air quality monitoring kit has an air quality sensor. These kits are catered to machine chat, so let's see them in use. So first things first, I'm going to show you how to use all of them, so regardless of which kit you get, you'll be able to get up and running. Let's start with daisy chaining all of our sensors together, and then we'll plug in our OpenLog Artemis to our computer and open up machine chat. All right, once we've got machine chat up open, we'll navigate to settings and go to our data collectors page. Then we're gonna go up here to this green button and add collector. We'll go ahead and name it something. So we'll just call this SparkFun OpenLog Artemis. And we'll scroll down to SparkFun OpenLog Serial as our collector type. Then we're going to put in our serial port, which for me is COM3, and I'm on a Windows PC. So if you do need Mac support, Machine Chat has a very handy dandy page available that can walk you through how to get your port set up on a Mac. We wanna make sure that we have this timestamp at server selected, which will give us right our timestamp when the data is logged onto Machine Chat. And we want to come down here and make sure that our is after line says content type, text, comma separated value. And our target ID will be set to open log serial. Now that we have all of our bells and whistles set to the right thing, we can save it. By default, when the open log is added, it will be disabled to begin with. And we can go ahead and click this enable collector button. And that will turn it to this gray, and that means that the open log is up and running. And what we'll do next is we're gonna hold down our reset button for a couple seconds and let it go. And it should be taking recordings now. So now that we've held down our reset button, it should be communicating with machine chat and letting us know what our sensors are bringing in. So just to double check, we'll come into this edit collector. And if we scroll down, here are all of the things that are coming in from the open log Artemis and our different sensors. Thanks to our friends at Machine Chat, they have very graciously given us something that allows the open log to immediately communicate what sensors are plugged into it and what strings are going to come from it and what numbers and all of these different things. So it's as easy as plugging it in and hitting reset and all of your variables will be declared. So we'll come over to our system dashboard. We can check and see. And it looks like these have changed a little bit. You can see these changing in real time. So these widgets won't be available as soon as you start, but I just wanted to double check here that all of our sensors are taking their readings and changing in real time. So now we can go through and learn how to add a widget. So here I have 10 different widgets between text and all of these fancy gadgets. So with the Jedi One card that comes with the kit, the base dashboard will allow for 10 different widgets. So we're gonna go ahead and remove one so we can walk through how to make one. So now let's bring our VOC sensor gauge back in. So we'll come down here to this button, it says gauge. We can put in our values. So with our VOC sensor, we range from zero to 500. And we definitely want to stay closer to the lower end of the values, 500 is our bad range. So what we're gonna do is we're going to change our kind of color system here. And I really like these bright red colors. So I'm gonna save that for our high value. Come down here and make a nice friendly green for our low value. Then we need to select a source, which is our open log serial. From there, we'll select a property and all of these will be listed from the data collectors page. So we'll select our VOC index. With this VOC index, it doesn't really have any specific units because uh, it's already scaled for the sensor. So we'll just go ahead and hit add. And there it is. I can grab this little blue doodad up here that lets me move it around. What's awesome is that here at SparkFun, we have the perfect average for air quality. 
Woohoo! All right, now I kind of want to add a label that tells me what this is, because right now it's just 100. Great, but I don't know what that is. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna add a text box, and that just pops up right in this corner. If you double click, you can change the text. We'll write VOC index. Since that's a little bit too long for this window, we can click this blue box again and pull on one of these clear boxes, and that lets me make it a little bit bigger to get all that text in there. And then click off to the side, and that'll let you get the blue box a little easier. Sometimes it's tricky. And we can kind of eyeball it, try to make it nice and even, and there we go. There's our VOC index widget. And then we can come up here and hit save, and system dashboard saved. So Machine Chat has several different ways that we can kind of view our data. With this widget screen here, it's kind of nice and fun, like we've got our little waves of, of water for our humidity. It also has this data dashboard over here, which kind of gives us the same information, allows us sort of the same visuals and things, and it also tells us the date it was logged, what time, and the last value that came through. And it's as simple as that. Our friends over at Machine Chat have made it super easy to get up and running with these kits, so head on over to sparkfun.com, give them a look, and let us see what you can create. Hey guys, Mariah here, and today we're gonna get, nope, our friends over at Machine, and that's it, that's how you do a screen record. Our friends over at Machine Chat have made it, uh, I feel like I said machine again, and it's as easy as that and then blank. <laughs>